Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. So Nova came out with a new product for the automotive industry and that is the 3360. It's a thermal imaging camera and they sent one over so I can try it out. With a tool like this, you can detect invisible problems and that's because we physically cannot see energy, but we can now detect heat. So this makes any do-it-yourself job super efficient because now you can pinpoint any shorts in your electrical system or you can check for any overloaded circuits. Batteries are not included guys so you will need three AAA batteries in order for this to operate and a manual book does come with the gun. So the way this works is wherever you point this gun at it will show you how much heat is being generated in that area. So right now I am pointing at the dash and we do see some orange, some purple, so there's not a lot of heat that's coming from there. When I point over to the vents, since I had the heater on full blast because it was raining here in California, super cold, but we see a lot of heat still being generated from those vents. And when we look at the windshield, there's no heat coming from there, so it's all blue. Now you can also adjust the color palette. Every time I press it down, it will remove much of the coloring and it'll just show exactly what I'm looking at. In this case, it would be the radio. And then I can raise it all the way high and just distort the original image. Now I can take a picture of that with this little trigger in the back. When I click on that trigger, I will take a picture of what I'm looking at exactly, which would be the radio. And I can upload that on my computer and keep it for a file or print it out. Now, this is really great to find a parasitic draw in the vehicle because if you're not really sure where it's coming from and it's not coming from anywhere in the engine bay, then you can actually use a gun like this to scan the entire vehicle and kind of pinpoint where that energy is being drawn from. Now let's try it on the engine bay. Everything in the engine bay looks great, guys. Nothing seems irregular. All that you see in red, orange, yellow, it's because I was driving my FRS earlier. So these parts will stay hot for a couple more hours until the car cools down. Now, the accuracy on the temperature reading right at the top is only off by two degrees, give or take. If your preference was not Celsius and you wanted to read this in Fahrenheit, then we'll go to the menu, we'll go to the units, and that's where we'll switch it to Fahrenheit. Now it will read everything in degrees Fahrenheit. One of the other things that we can check for is seized brakes. Now I'm not experiencing any of the common issues like reduced stopping power or some noise coming from the brake pads or a funny feeling when I'm pressing down on the brake pedal, but we can always double check. Let's go. Giving for a couple minutes, that's how you can get an accurate reading. So based off of the temperature at the top, as long as each caliper is around the same temperature, then they are fine. If there is one that is much higher than the other one, then that's typically where you would have an issue at. So right now on average, 86 degrees for the driver front. Let's go to the driver rear. All right, let's see. Right now, this one on average is 78. Okay. Now let's go to the passenger rear. On average, this one is 77. Now let's go to the passenger front, let's see. So they are all measuring at the same temperature. The two rear are measuring around like 76, 77, and the two front ones are like 85, 89. So yeah, so there's actually no issues with any of the brake calipers on the FRS, which is good. Pero de qué compañía? ¿Y cuánto costó? ¿Eh? ¿Cuánto costó? Está caro, César. ¿Como cuánto? ¿Más de mil bolas? No. They too also had something very similar at the shop, but the owner was explaining that when he bought his many years ago, it was way over a thousand dollars. In today's price, since it's an older generation, it should probably be somewhere around two hundred and fifty dollars. But it did not take any pictures. Now I was kind of price comparing with the other brands that I've seen on Amazon and guys it gets really expensive because there's some that go up to $5,000 and at least the Nova made theirs affordable.
the more I'm learning about the 3360, I see just how useful it can be to have a tool like this, guys. I know that in the future, I might be experiencing some electrical issues with my Supra. So this and an amp clamp is essential and it will be like super necessary for my journey. Now I will be leaving the link for the 3360 down below. I think that Amazon and Inova are offering a 20% or a 10% off. I'm not too sure yet, but I will be updating any promos or discount deals on my story on Instagram. In case you guys are not following me, my Instagram is at hotmods with a Z underscore and that's where you can check out the latest promos and deals okay now if you guys have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down below thank you for watching stay tuned for more